to run a coffee farm is not easy. You have to struggle uh, because it is hard work and you have got people who are working in it. So it's not easy. It's hard. You have to sacrifice yourself. You have to look it every time and visit the trees and see whether they are stuffing or they are drying up or they have got a disease. If you take care about that, like it now, our coffee is the best. If this was a numbers game, even getting 1% wrong puts the whole thing off. The flavor, the profile, the aroma can all be changed and lost in an instant. There are some people who are picking. There are people who are pruning. There are people who are putting manure. You have to do so many things, other things. So you have to have people in the coffee yeah, to look after it until you get the last day, the last day picking. It's not easy to grow coffee, but when you have got coffee, you have to put it, to feed it like you are feeding a baby. Feed it with the fertilizer, with <laughs> then you feed it with the manure, and uh, keep on cleaning the, the where is the coffee. You see, we don't have got weeds. We have to clean it uh, so that weeds cannot take the fertilizer. So you need to look after it like a, like a baby if you want to get something. Yes. Uh, 1940 is uh, when I started to see and to taste coffee. I drink coffee, I love it, very tasty, <laughs> and I love it. Mm. It makes you to feel nice, even the taste. Mm. Even now, driving into Shosho's farm fills me up with so much energy. And I think it comes from the passion of everyone involved in making the coffee. I truly believe the warmth, happiness, and sincerity of the people here permeates into the coffee beans, no doubt, making Shosho's coffee just that much more lovelier. With so many people involved along the way, I'm glad to say I know all of them. From crop to cup, from us to you, single origin, single block, small batch, roasted coffee.